How has your way been working out so far? So what should I do, Budget Sativa? Oh, here we go. Actually, I think I'm doing pretty fucking good. I'm in therapy. I've been off of cocaine since July 8th. Uh-huh. Um, I'm pretty proud of my channel. She claims that she hasn't sniffed the bad stuff since July 8th, but all available information points to this being untrue. To support my theory, we have to piece together the things we know about her sniffy dust usage and the events that occurred during that time. Unfortunately, the easiest way to do that is to use her big public fight with Shannon as something of a time reference. Because their fight was about Nader hurting Chantal, and Chantal claims it only happened because of the bad stuff they sniffed, that's where I started. Yeah, because he found out, I told Shannon, you know why? Because Shannon went right away when I told her, I confided in her about, like, some stuff, uh, about our relationship. She fucking went and, like, flipped out on him in, like, a paragraph this big on Messenger, calling him every fucking name in the book and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I even sent her a message after I vented to her, and I sent a message to her sending, and I said, like, my mom was like, what, like, what are you, what happened? Like, what did you tell people, like, about me? Like, some of your friends, like, they're messaging me. This is really, like, nice, you know? And I said, well, I said, when we were, like, fighting or whatever, I would confide in my friends, and, and, uh, he was okay with that, but concerned that, like, that's really private shit. And that they're going to tell everybody, and look what happens. Like, <laughs> and it's just like, ugh, anyway. In this August 6th stream, Chantal talks about how Shannon sent really mean messages to Nader, calling him everything under the book, like goof. What the hell does that mean? Why does it sound like an insult a child would? Oh, right, moving on. On August 3rd, Chantal was in a live stream when Shannon popped into the chat. They start laughing about how Shannon had been messaging Nader because she was so mad at him over something Chantal had told her. Shannon's very, very, very protective friend and she's fucking hates. She used to beat guys up at parties. Like she hates men like who are a certain way or you know what I mean? <clears throat> And Shannon's my BFF, so of course, when something goes wrong, I just vent it all to her, and I'm very honest with her. So she, she really told him off. Like, she, like, fucking called him a you. <laughs> she really told him off. Yeah. Later down, they don't like each other. Awkward. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, it's not a joke, but... I know. And I'll do it again. Shannon has no problem telling you off. That's what I've always liked about you. I'll kill you if you hurt her. Uh, she would too. Remember that big freaking native guy you punched in the face at that party? Oh my fucking god. That native guy that was like threatening to beat up your boyfriend at the time? And like everybody? He doesn't want to see me. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I could hear you screaming that, especially the goof. You always use that when you really hate someone. <laughs> it's like I could hear her yelling that. Because I've heard you yell that before to people. <laughs> Shannon's scary when she's fucking mad. I'm telling you. <clears throat> Stop looking at me. We're not going to talk about what anyone did to make Shannon mad because it's private. No, it's, um, she's like my best friend, so I was confiding in her. It's something that happened usually negative and she's very protective about me with guys and stuff like that interesting that three days before the big public fight chantal laughed about how mad shannon was a i assume shannon was mad enough to reach out to nader on messenger around august 3rd because she'd just found out some really bad stuff things chantal told her had happened so i went to the my truth story whatever stream she uploaded and has since deleted that was on September 27th, and it was a messy sort of explanation of what exactly happened between the two lovers on that really bad night. I clipped this from an upload I found on Kiwi Farms. Bless the archivists there who keep record of all the things Chantal deletes. So I went over, we bought, I bought like seven grams of coke. <laughs> and we did like several grams by then. And he, like, he, oh my god, he just became like... A different person like his eyes just became like black like i did not recognize him at all like he started getting like really like he, he was like i don't know we were like he plays this stupid fucking gambling game so i sent him money like to do it to first to play 
and he like lost a whole bunch of money and just like he was getting so fucking mad and like nasty and just like in my face like really close and i thought like oh my god is he gonna hit me and then we went upstairs and we had like had sex and then i was like i want to go home <laughs> and that's when that just like fucking made him flip out like he was like he just like got up and was like like just like the oh, fuck. it's like his eyes like the eyes were like black and he was just like i don't know like he was gone so you know this pissed me off why do you do it you must be doing it on purpose you know what pissed me off you know what hurts me i told you not to piss me off you don't listen like just flipping out and then all of a sudden i just felt like something like like he grabbed my face really hard and was like pinching it and i didn't know like what to do like i was like scared <laughs> and uh then he like flicked his cigarette at me and then like I felt like something like hard in my face. I, I didn't see him hit me, but I, like I feel like punching in the arms a bunch of times. And he was so mean. Like I just remember, like you fucking punched me. And he's like, yeah, a few times. Um, I was just like, does it make you feel big to hit a woman and all this shit? Um, and then, like he wouldn't let me leave. So I just figure I'm just gonna like play along. And he hid my phone. So. I actually like snuck out when he fell asleep and I left my phone there and I came home I used pizza's phone I said I needed to message my mom I messaged my mom so that was that big big fight and the worst part is that he blamed it on me after like he blamed it on me like he was like um, why did you hurt me why did you make me hurt you kind of thing like, why did you just like classic textbook lines and i'm just like is this like real this can't be real <laughs> like blaming it on the coke and yes the coke has been bad um he actually hasn't hit me since then but we have had really bad fights um where there has been aggression like there's still a lot of signs of aggression and that's why i stay away sometimes like if you're like why aren't you at dom's because uh, I don't want to be around when I know he's going to be mad. Like, he'll get mad, like, if I um, change plans. Like, if I say, oh, I'm not feeling good. Oh, you were supposed to help me with this. Like, he just really, I feel like he just cares about himself. I was crying after. He grabbed my face. Like, yeah, you like that? <clears throat> And then he like, I felt like just like, he hit me in my face like so hard that I just like, I like fell back and like, I saw like stars or something. And then after like he hit me on the arm a bunch of time, like punched me in the arm. Like I felt like I was like crying and then I felt like blood. And he's like, no, you had a nosebleed before that. Maybe from like the Coke, I don't know. I had sex with him after that. That's always hard to listen to, even knowing that she's changed some of the story since this first telling. And despite her being a repugnant human, she doesn't deserve to be physically hurt. Anyway, I cannot find the clip I want, but I swear to Google it exists. Probably buried in one of the 400 hours of streams she's had since the 27th. It's a clip of her saying something about how after that big fight, she locked herself in her room for three days and just ate spaghetti. Obviously that's not verbatim, so don't come for me if the clip is found and I've said it incorrectly here. Thanks. I think we all remember the infamous stream when Chantal, from her filthy stanky llama, asks her audience if any of them have been in an abusive relationship. I have used that clip before, along with this one from July 21st. Where? How oh, this? Wait. So, fun fact. Where is it? This is just, these marks are just like permanent, like rosacea. But yes, my mouth goes like that. So it does make it worse here. <clears throat> and then, 
I smacked my face on my car door. <laughs> it hurt so bad. It was like around here, but I don't think there's even a bruise. There's a weird sideburn. <laughs> From her September 27th video, we know she was hit in at least the face and arm. And from the August 3rd video we know Shannon was really mad sometime before that day. July 21st to August 3rd is almost two weeks, so I thought this might be too big a stretch to have that bruise actually be from the big fight. Sorry, I just oh my God, I have so much on my mind. Have any of you, like, ever been in an abusive relationship? I don't know if I can talk about it, but... I feel like I have some trauma from it. And... I ask people if anyone's been in an abusive relationship. I feel like I feel bad because I feel like it's kind of like I'm just asking it casually. But I'm just feeling like... Just wondering, I guess... If what I went through was something like that. This stream had everyone talking about her possibly being hurt by Nader, but she vehemently denied it. I think she was lying then, and that she's still lying now. Not about the fight, but about her claim of being clean of the coke since July 8th. Ugh, I have a big mouth. Hi Angie Wood! No, I don't want to, um... All I'm going to say, I've just been through some, some horrible shit, and, uh, it's, I'm basically just going to be focusing back on just me. I'm going to be just me right now. It really sucks picking up pieces. So hard. Uh... Me? Are you talking to me, Shannon? Am I mad at you? I'll message you back. Or are you talking to someone else? That's one a couple of bites of meatball. Yeah, I know. I talked to my mom. But beyond that, I don't want to talk about it uh, at anything public, okay? Yeah, yeah. At all, no matter what. Only us can know something for now, okay? <clears throat> Spaghetti for the second day in a row isn't too strange for Chantal, I guess. Her comments to Shannon about keeping their conversation private, after Shannon said she'd called Chantal's mom, makes sense if the conversation was about how hurt Chantal really was. And in this stream you can see a bruise on her upper arm. I know, I know. She's always splotchy and discolored, her blood thinners make her bruise easily, blah blah blah. She lies about the clearly visible finger marks being from just regular rough sex, and this really looks like a blue purple black bruise. Say hi Pete. Hi. 
So I haven't left my room other than to go get the pet food since I saw you because I don't feel like it. Deep Ella breath. Salvatross, welcome to Rainbow Beach. Yeah. We're both in that, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I got a call from the uh, insurance space asking some questions about uh, me going on leave. Mm. Some things I need to fill out. Yeah, you'll have to get on that. Has anyone ever tried Lochmas? I ordered these late last night when I was desperate for sweets. Not healthy. I don't even know what this is, but they're good. They're like little donuts. And they have like toppings on them. <laughs> so good. I gotta stop eating them. <laughs> Look, I'm Sarah. The marks on my lips, I don't know. This one here? It's been there for a while. Savage keyboard. It has. What do you want me to say? It's gonorrhea? That's what you're looking for, I know. Okay, the last part was petty and I'm going to hell for laughing at it. But pettiness aside, what do you think? Am I way off base, thinking this end of July time frame is when the big fight really happened? My conspiracy theory, allegedly, for entertainment purposes only, is that the big fight happened around the 20th of July. That Chantal was still seeing Nader and stayed quiet to her friends and family for a few days as she started to come down from the coke. Then on the 25th something else happened and she started her multi-day, spaghetti in the cat pajamas, time. She talked to Shannon about it around then, and over the next week or so as they talked more, more details came out and Shannon got to the mad level of messaging Nader. The sticking point in this is that Chantal blames the coke for the fight, but swears that she quit the coke on the 8th. So either I'm reading too much into these clip-in statements, or she's lying. Some bonus Chantal. <sighs> <laughs> Marissa. I am depressed, I said. Hi, Sewn Bone, by the way. You get marks on your lips from sucking, you know what? I didn't really want to kiss. No, he doesn't want, he's private. He's like, BB wouldn't want to either. Interesting. Are you sure about that? <laughs> hey, BB. <laughs> Bye, BB. Bye. I got a piece right back. My big chubby hand keeps touching the... Say goodnight to BB James. <laughs> Good night, BB. Hey, you don't pitch nutter. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Just as I was finishing this video, I saw that Chantal had posted this to her community tab. I'm adding this here because I don't want to speculate on this situation in another video. First of all, everyone who has inserted themselves into Chantal and Nader's real life needs to cut that shit out. Don't contact them, or their families or friends. Don't try to catch them sending filth to people outside their relationship. Don't contact their landlords or any government officials in Canada. It's not funny to watch Chantal rage over some really serious stuff like this. And if this incident is actually all fake then you people involved did nothing but give Chantal the red carpet to public approval and sympathy. It's things like this that get attention outside the little YouTube bubble, and this story if proven to be faked by the accuser would have people clamoring to Chantal's defense. I'll repeat my Twitter statement here. Everyone involved in this situation sucks. And to Chantal, I hope for your sake this actually is all made up. Because you're talking a whole lot of crap that could quickly add up in legal fees, not to mention the whole, still giddily taking the green oozing peen, of a guy accused of some really bad stuff.